I tanned for over an hour and I don't think it even made a difference. I mean, I literally was outside all day on Mother's Day at like three different wineries wearing a tank top that made this shape and I got so sunburned. And over the last week, I've been like wearing hoodies and putting on aloe vera, trying to like get it down. And the sunburn like went away. It pretty much just turned into a tan, but now it is so impossible to even it out and like get the pale spots to match. I tried, but I'm gonna have tan lines in my dress today, which will suck, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm at Starbucks right now in the drive-thru. I'm gonna get a latte and something for breakfast. It is 12.47. I don't know, I gotta treat myself today. It doesn't feel like graduation. It feels just like so weird. I had an honor ceremony last weekend, which was cool, and then today is the graduation. So there's 11,000 students in my class, but they separated the ceremonies by major, so I'm only graduating with the art major at my school which is way better so it's not gonna be that long of a ceremony I just haven't been in like a really good mood the last few months so it's like I'm gonna try and like make it a good day but this semester was the hardest couple months of my entire life and um, I don't think it gets much worse just feeling like what's the point all the time like I literally always feel like what why am I even doing this I don't know but I did it you know it was all me it was all me. I did it. I got the vegetarian sandwich. I got a latte. My usual order with oat milk and cold foam. I'm ready. Maybe this will turn my day around a little bit. Make me feel more ready, more accomplished. Thank you so much. straightening it. It actually looks pretty long today. I don't know what happened, but when I was a sophomore in high school, I cut my really long hair to like right here at my collarbone. And ever since then, the last like six years, it has not grown. Like it looks long right now. This is the first time it's actually like gone to like my boob, but I swear it was stuck like right here forever. Alright, my hair is finally done. I cannot believe it's already been four years since I started college. I think one of the best decisions I ever made was making a YouTube channel. And just like having video diaries of so much of my life. I started my channel in middle school, but I didn't really start filming and like planning videos until high school. It wasn't until my junior year that I started getting viewers. But then in college is where I really started like thinking about YouTube. YouTube as my job. My freshman year of college was super hard for me because I was leaving my hometown, moving not far, like an hour away, and living at the dorms, which was an experience I always wanted. I had a really cool roommate, she was super sweet, but I felt just at some of my lowest points. Obviously it's nothing compared to now, but I was really lonely and miserable. I felt like all my relationships weren't going well. It just sucked. Like freshman year of college was really fucking hard. YouTube was kind of the only thing that I really enjoyed doing. And it's the only thing that stayed like consistent as one of my favorite hobbies. I remember filming all of those week long videos, my freshman year living at the dorm, matching my outfits to my Starbucks. And and then I moved out for my second semester of freshman year and COVID happened, which was so intense and crazy. And just one of those things that no one will really understand unless you were there and experiencing it too. Although it was really tough, looking back on it, I got to spend so much time with my family and my siblings. And with school being online, I really missed out on a lot of, you know, the typical college experience. But at the same time, I felt like it gave me more opportunity to try new things. I never really talked about it, but I tried acting classes. That was also the time I switched 
switched my major from marketing to art. And that was the best decision I ever made in college. Me in accounting classes was just not what I wanted. I did not enjoy economics. I did not enjoy accounting or calculus. I've always been into art. I've always drawn. A lot of people question if going to college as an art major is worth it, and to me, it was 100% worth it. I chose to go to a Cal State University because it's a better price than top schools like UCs, so that was like a good choice. I was not happy at this school for a long time. I never really felt like I found people to connect with. It's a commuter school, so a lot of people aren't really there to make friends. They're just there to go to class and then leave. So I think that was kind of difficult for me because I found it really hard to make like friendships with people. As you get through all of the lower division classes and the general ed, you get towards the upper division and you start being with people in every class so I would have like the same classmates for all my classes and that really gave us a chance to like get to know each other and have fun and I feel like the art community is so supportive and so nice I also found it so worth it to go to school as an art major because I learned so much I learned about movies and how they put together scenes how interior designers will set up a room so you focus on a certain thing in the room there are so many things I learned that I would have never gotten on my own I connected with a couple professors who really helped me keep going with my work. I also found it really helpful because I had a lot of time to build a portfolio and that's kind of my next step. I think this summer I want to focus obviously on content. This is what I've been waiting for is to have my entire day open. You know, I don't have school anymore. I don't have a crazy schedule so I'll be able to focus more on videos and art wise I want to build my portfolio, have like a good amount of work and variety. This semester obviously being the hardest, it was really hard to keep going. I really thought about about taking the semester off. I really thought about like continuing school next year after I have a break and I can just like focus on self-care and myself. I decided I made it super far. I should keep going, I should finish and I did. I'll talk about it in another video but I think one of my best accomplishments in college was getting straight A's pretty much every semester. I'm done with my makeup except mascara. I think I left it in the car. I did leave it in the car so we're gonna use this one. Okay, I'm getting dressed. Here's what my dress looks like. I wanted to show you before I put on the gown and everything. I love this dress. I got it last minute from Princess Polly. I ordered it online. Um, and then I'm wearing heels. I know. I never wear heels because I'm already 5'9". So with these, I'm like so tall. They're so cute. I love them. I'm gonna put on the rest of the outfit and I'll show you guys also my nails. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I got them done specifically to match today and I think they're so cute. Here is the outfit. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I cannot believe this is real. Like I'm about to graduate college. So yeah, I got the gown with the shoulder pads. I can't. I have my regular sash and then my honors sash. I'm gonna head out the door right now and drive to school for the last time.